Sunday morning, I woke up because that was the day. The day yeah. I've been looking forward to for like two weeks. As you guys know, um, I picked up a set of Corbo seats, right? That's right. I had talked about this in the previous week's podcast. Um, so these seats are something that I wanted to get for the Civic. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been rocking some budget budget sports seats. Well, Del Sol which, they seats were, they that were, you recovered. Yeah. yeah. So the Honda Del Sol. And they've been great. Yeah. They Those were covers great. were impressive. They I, made them look like new seats. Everybody that sees them thinks that they're really nice. And yeah. I said, don't take this covers off because you'll see my Frankenstein <laughs> stitching job to sew those things back together because I got them from the junkyard. Yeah. $30 seats. Um, so I wanted a more aggressive pair of seats. And so I was looking into the, all the Corbo products and I found that these particular seats, I just love the look of, they're called the Corbo RRX seats, right? And I spent the day, right, just kind of getting it all set up, right? How I'm going to do this, try, how I'm going to tackle this, right? Not for like a video or pictures or anything like that. Right. I just happened to take a couple right. pictures as I was going along. So go ahead and check this Very out nice here. pictures, I might add. These are beautiful. Dope seats. They're insane. They're Those so are cool. um <laughs> Beyond too nice for my car. Mm-hmm. Those are well. You've got uh, you've got smooth leather. You've got basket weave leather. You've got perforated leather. You've got basket weave diamond patterns and a couple I mean, of hip huggers at the bottom. It's beautiful. Dude, <laughs> it beautiful is seats. Um, beautiful seats. So here, so here's the thing. I I, w- I I've never bought like a new pair of seats before. Mm-hmm. I've you know I've always uh, gotten you know old seats that right, have, yeah yeah that have been you know sat in. <laughs> You, you name I it in those this. seats. Yeah, this is right? your first brand new seat. This is my first brand new seat. And when it comes to looking for aftermarket seats, just like everything else, I do, I do a ton of research trying to find out what's a good option, right? Everybody knows, you know, your top of the line, what most people love going with is some type of Recaro, right? Mm-hmm. But you're getting into that, you know, couple thousand dollar range, right? Yeah. Each seat, each Recaro seat will start around, you know, $1,200. Um, or people like to go, if you're more of like a JDM guy or, or, or like that kind of look, you'll go like the Brids or Brides yeah. or however you want to refer to them as. Um, there's some there's some good seat manufacturers out there, uh, but for my budget, for my price range, I couldn't necessarily jump into the highest end seat. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It really does. I mean, maybe if it was going in like my nice car, like the Evo or something where I could justify it and I made it work, then maybe something like that. But um, I was looking for something a little bit a little bit cheaper, yeah. right? Um, so there's a couple other brands out there. Uh, there's Brom seats. There is, uh, I think you can pick up a pair of, I don't know. There's NRG. There's a lot of other random seats out there that you can go with. Um, but Corbo seats was was a was a brand that I've seen ever since I was a kid. Seeing mm-hmm. these yeah. these seats in cars, never knew too much about it though, right? So I did a kind of a deeper dive. Turns out Corbo was actually one of the oldest manufacturers of racing seats uh, in the world. Mm. I did not know that. Yeah. So back in the '60s, they were the first to actually implement full harnessed seats, racing seats, uh, because the, uh, the the founder, the creator of Corbo, was not fa- was not happy with the seats currently offered at that time oh. by manufacturers. So, fun fact as well, Corbo seats is based out of Great Britain. I did not know that. Very nice. And so, <laughs> uh, I think it's South uh, South Essex is where they're actually made. I think that's that's right. Oh, cool. Refer to it, okay. but. Um, they were made and manufactured there from the start, and they're still made and manufactured there today. No idea. Honestly, I would assume that they would have outsourced by yeah, now sure. because of yeah. how big of a brand they are. So can we go visit nice them when we go to the UK I next time? I think we probably That'd can. kind of cool. So they're based out of the UK. And uh, what's funny is that most of the times I saw the Corvo seats, I saw them in muscle cars. Mm-hmm. I saw them in, like, you know, you name it, Mustangs right, yeah. or, 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 or Camaros or all sorts of different things or trucks. Mm-hmm. I never saw them in like JDM cars, uh, but then I started doing some more research and I started seeing them more and more in Euro spec cars, a lot of people in GTIs, a lot of people in Audis, things like that. And I realized that makes more sense. But I thought, why not throw these in, in, in a JDM car and try to get these a little bit. Yeah, it's a cool way to mix know, it up. Kind of show that these yeah. things can actually work for them. Different market. So they're called the Corbo RRX, like I said before. Unboxed them. I couldn't believe the quality of those seats, man. They look so good. I was they're blown, gorgeous. I was, I was blown away. I, I expected them to be good, but not that good. It, 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 I mean, well, you were kind Honestly. of giving like a hierarchy earlier, like what you I, thought. I didn't know how. I, I, just, I just didn't know how good people. they were going to be. And then I opened them up, and I find that the vinyl that they're using is a nice, 
thick vinyl. It's good. It's a good vinyl. It's and not some cheap um, thing. and the kind of the the grip vinyl that they use on the inside is like you can, it's bulletproof. You know, there, there's no way you could puncture that. Um, and then like the perforated areas, it's just well done. I would buy those seats all day long, hundred percent, no questions asked. Right, so if you're ever looking at a new pair of seats for anybody who's watching. I'd check out what Corbo has because they also have the highest amount, the largest inventory of brackets for pretty much every car. Mm. So the hard part is not finding the seats you want. Yeah. The hard part is finding the brackets. Okay. okay. Because brackets typically have to be fabricated. They have to be rewelded, or you have to use your existing brackets. Mm-hmm. Choosing the seat you want any car will typically be an easy process, but the brackets are the number one hardest thing to manufacturer especially for such a wide yeah, range of vehicles yeah. so uh, i need four of them for my suburban yeah so i'm gonna do. have to start nice. doing some research on yeah, that. i'm telling you four man captain's I, chairs in the suburban i could i really couldn't i couldn't believe how nice this is yeah were. seriously i couldn't and um i would put them in any car and yeah. i i basically those seats uh when that civic goes i'm, I'm keeping those yeah Pull Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 100%. And they'll last me so Okay. Long. So, guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you haven't already, you're new here, like Dino, our new friend down there, mm-hmm. who uh, likes Levi's tattoos. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you know the next time we go live. And uh, click the bell to make sure you get every notification. Or if you're subscribed, it's just kind of a nice way to let other people know, hey, this is worth listening to. Yep. So, we appreciate that. If you're listening sometime in the future, please take a moment, leave a review on uh, you know Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts from. We really appreciate it, and it helps us get, once again, in front of more people. So until next time, which will be Thursday, Q&A Thursday, on the Rag Company main channel, we will see you then. So adios. See you, guys. See ya.